So we're up here in northern Minnesota. Darren here has been using our quick claw, and I mean, Darren had some storm damage come through. I mean, Darren, tell us about, I mean, this. Yeah, you know, as you can see, we got some trees down here. About six days ago, we had an F2 tornado come through our grove here. Um, you can't see it at the moment, but this whole area used to be all thick trees and everything. Um, happened to be a week before that, I picked up this skid steer. Um, only had a bucket for it, you know, just moving dirt around and whatnot. Tornado comes through and we've got this huge mess. So we were looking for something to make this job a little bit easier. Um, called up my quick attach salesman and he talked about this quick claw. Um, and, and you can maybe touch more on some features here, but one of the big things he was talking about was these shorter tines in the bottom and this rough terrain that we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. and, and what kind of performance we're gonna get pushing not only these big stumps around and these big logs, but all this extra material that you're trying to pick up with the end of the claw. You know, you can kind of bulldoze it forward with this lower tines or these shorter tines, put it up into this big pile, put this top claw down, and you've got everything right there, nice and tight, pick it all up. You lose minimal amount of trash on the bottom when you pick it up. It's It's been pretty impressive. You've been running this about a week out here, you say? Give or take cleaning it up, right? Six days to do, we've got at least four acres down, probably well over a hundred trees. And I've done, I want to say 90% with this uh, attachment right here. Okay, and you've got a 95 horsepower machine, so plenty of, Plenty of torque, plenty of give, and as far as operating it on the, the ground, you talk about the terrain. So is it nice that you're able to kind of float through the ground then, rather than like something with teeth is going to dig or want to dive more, or longer bottom is going to yep. want to dive like with your bucket, right? Yep. And that's it. So the night that this happened, there was actually a couple other skid steers out here and a couple different grapples. Okay. And those had the longer tines on it. And so they could go in and they could pick up some good sized logs or they could pick up some good sized trash. Um, that was elevated, but when they started pushing across, you know, my lawn and everything, trying to pick that stuff up, you could see right where they went through. You know, the teeth were gonna be digging in, leaving marks. They're, they weren't squeezing or anything quite as good as I'm doing with this thing. So out here now, you know, I've got, I'm getting not close to done. I've got a lot of work left to do here, but I'm pushing across on some of this where I want it to be nice and smooth because I'm driving back and forth on this all the time. So I can go right across the ground, push everything out of the way, squeeze it with this, I got a nice smooth surface to run across as I'm going back and forth to the piles. I think you've been back ranking too where you open the claw all the way up and then you drag <laughs> backwards and clean up. Because I mean, honestly out here, you guys can't see the ground, but it's really, for how much trees are down, I mean, the ground is, there's literally mostly dirt. There's a couple tree branches here and there, but I mean, you've literally cleaned everything up where, I mean, I could plant a food plot out here. I mean, you got the cornfield, but. It's getting close, you know, and uh, talking about the back rake, and that's what my salesman was telling me about was, and it was hard for me to picture it. Because you lift it all the way, he said you lift it all the way up and then you tip it all the way forward and you got these front tines that are going to go down into the ground, but these bottom tines are going to be high enough so they're not dragging as well. So I can put this down into the dirt and I can back up and it takes enough dirt so that if I'm going over like a hole for a stump or something that I've been bouncing through all day, mm -hmm. once or twice through that back rigging with this fills that hole up and now I'm not bouncing across as I'm doing trips all day long. So as valuable it is as it is to grab all this material with this putting this forward and back raking with it another big plus i really like it okay good well we appreciate your time today and just like, letting us come out here and just seeing how our customers really work and what they live this isn't us sitting out you know testing these attachments at our own place these are real customers obviously pushing our equipment this is real storm cleanup you know hurricanes tornadoes things like that that people well, sadly have to experience but it's got to be cleaned up somehow and it's you know you're taking this in your own hands cleaning your own stuff up and this is what we like to see i mean this isn't shiny this isn't new this has got six days on it you know everything's still here you know it's obviously a 95 horsepower machine and the size of the trees i see around here i mean you've put it to its through its the ringer i haven't been taking it easy in fact right when i put it on the first thing i did was i grabbed the biggest log i could find which maybe wasn't smart but i wanted to see what it could do and I grabbed onto this log and it was massive. I just picked it up, threw it in the pile. It acted like it wasn't even there. So yeah, this is six days, six days of about as tough work as you can put a grapple through. So it's, uh, it's performed well.
real customer review here and using the stuff. And thanks a lot, Darren. Thank you.